everyone, it's me, the Atheist Gamer, and, you know, as long as my laptop is still in the Chop Top shop, I, uh, unfortunately have to make videos like this. <sighs> anyway, have you ever met a, vid a uh, YouTuber who's so goddamn cringeworthy, the second that you hear him talk? It just makes you want to pull out your ears and just dunk them in a pool of acid. Because to me, this asshole is probably the most cringeworthy human being that I've ever met. Everything about this guy just screams out asshole. From his shirt, from his face, from his hair, from his fucking earrings. Just about everything just screams out asshole. Let's take a look. I'm Kyle, and this is Your Fave is Problematic, where I really question why some things would be your fave. See what I'm talking about? Five seconds in, and already I want to strangle somebody. Today we'll be looking at the terrifying new trend known as the men's rights movement. Mennonism. Wait a second. Is this guy really thinking that the MRAs and the feminists are basically the same thing? You know... Did I miss something? <sighs> the facts are these. Well, shit just got real. He put on his glasses. Well, two can play that game. Meninism, or the men's rights movement, as it is known by human man babies all over the internet, is a pseudo-activist movement promoting what it claims to be equal rights for men, though in reality it is a thinly veiled counter-movement against feminism. Okay, first of all, jackass, the Menimist Twitter hashtag, you know, the, the so-called Menimist movement, is satire. It's fucking satire to show the ridiculous amount of levels the ridiculous level that feminism has gone to. You know, they, they, I, I, I can't believe that you're actually believing that the menemists, the menemists are basically the MRAs, when they're two groups of people. Now, there might be a few menemists out there that might be MRAs, but they're not the same people. And even if they were, the Menemist Twitter hashtag is basically satire. Alright? You, you fucking moron. And second of all, being part of the MRA doesn't necessarily make you a part of the uh, anti-feminist movement. Being an anti-feminist makes you an anti-feminist. I, myself, am an anti-feminist. But guess what? I am not part of the MRAs. Or MGTOW. Or a part of a voice for men. None of those groups I'm affiliated with. I do in fact show some support on their beliefs, but other than that, I'm not part of their group. In 2014, the hashtag Yes All Women rose to popularity, an online movement dedicated to exemplifying the inequality still faced by women today. The hashtag itself was in response to the trending hashtag Not All Men, in which angry monster babies posted stories decrying their unfair treatment by women. How dare you talk about uh, the injustices that men face? Don't you know that we have to help these women feel better about themselves? Now, let's talk about that wage gap or once again showing that all too often, when a woman decides to stand up for herself, a man will come along and just basically shit on it. Around the time, trending topics such as I need meninism because, and meninist tweet, began popping up with such great hits as, why can't she open the door for me? Why do men have to spend our hard earned money on dates? Why can't we get asked out, picked up and fed? I like free food too. Why don't guys under six feet get a chance? This particularly cryptic one by a woman that reads, I need menism because feminism has wimpified modern men beyond recognition. I want real men back! I need menism because the movie Magic Mike promotes an unrealistic expectation of how men's bodies should look. You know, I don't know what exactly is sadder. The fact that you're actually trying to compare the menemist tweets with the MRAs, confusing them as the same groups of people, 
to actually taking some of the tweets to be serious. Like, holy shit, I met some dumb YouTubers, but I think you take the cake, pal. Something women would know nothing about. When I read these, I am most strongly reminded of a tweet by the user known as Bird's Right Activist, who has somewhat effortlessly yet succinctly summed up this sticky situation. I am feel uncomfortable when we are not about me? Yeah. I'm still shocked that you're taking this seriously? By the way, that is my new favorite catchphrase. I'm gonna use that in like every situation. There's just so many applicable situations in which you could use that. Can't think of any right now, of course, but um, it's out there. Dear Lord, somebody put me out of my fucking misery. This video is so goddamn terrible. I think I'd rather watch The Last Airbender. This is how bad the video is. I'd rather watch The Last Airbender. And I'm not talking about the animated one. I'm talking about the one that's made by M. Night Shyamalan. That the topic has received so much media attention that it has even been touched upon in a recent episode of Parks and Rec. As ever, our feminist heroine Leslie Nope summed it up perfectly. Second, the mailman? Where are you? Ah, you're ridiculous, and men's rights is nothing. Now here's where it gets pretty funny. The hashtag Meninist logo appearing on the t-shirts of some gravely misguided individuals is of course borrowed from the design of the Obey logo by artist Shepard Ferry. How is that funny? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, Ferry himself borrowed the original design from feminist artist Barbara Kruger. Well, what do you know? So? Does that have to do with anything? Seriously, what does this have to do? Ooh, the D is sweet. Score one for Cosmic Karma. Swish. In all seriousness, what is truthfully harmful about the men's rights movement is that it inappropriately shifts the focus away from some very real issues still faced by women today. Oh yes, real world issues like... Um... Oh, oh yeah, you know, spreading your legs, men spreading their legs in a subway station. Yeah, that, that's a that's a thing. Um, you know, we, we gotta stop that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. Um, apparently, uh, uh, waiting in line. You know, those women who have to wait in line to use the bathroom. Yeah, that that's sexist. You know. Uh, let's see what else. Did I mention that, you know, slamming into a woman is now sexist? Because, you know, it just is. Oh yeah, and trying to ban a word, bossy, you know, bossy somehow hurts a woman's feelings, you know. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Am I missing any- I need feminism because I live in a world where women are still being shunned for voicing their opinion and men still hold a monopoly on the conversation. Uh, are you seriously? I cannot believe my fucking eyes I cannot believe what I hear here. This is stupid. Beyond stupid. I, it hurts. It fucking hurts just listening to this guy. I think I just got dumber from listening to that statement alone. I mean, there are plenty of women out there who speak just they're they're leaders women who are leaders they're strong independent people there are plenty of them and you expect me to believe what you what you said no 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 I'm done no I'm so fucking done there's no 
hope for humanity. You know, I thought that, you know, I was sort of lying to myself that there was no hope for humanity. But this is proof. This is fucking proof that there's no hope for humanity because people like... Or at least they're attempting to. Badly. Via social media. I can give you one good example on why that's total fucking bullshit. Ever heard of this campaign called He for She? Yeah, you know, uh, this one girl from Harry Potter, what's her face, Emma Watson, who spoke out on how feminism is basically seen as, you know, this group of people who hate men. And most feminists pretty much do hate men. They just in denial of it. <sighs> They've also read My Little Pony. Feminism is defined by its stance for equality across all genders. Don't you see? There's room for all of us in feminism. As usual, let's justify a movement not based on its actions, but rather on its definition. All of us. All of us. All of us. Damn, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Keep on going. I can actually feel my brain trying to escape from my... Men. Who needs them? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am so fucking happy that this video is finally fucking over. I mean, this is the worst four minutes of my fucking life. <sighs> if you want me to summarize this entire video, basically, he thinks that the Memonists and the MRAs are the same groups of people, even though they're not, and likes to pretty much come up with bullshit lies, you know, thinking that feminism is for everyone. No, it's not. It's only for people like this moron. Stupid people. Feminism is basically for very, very stupid people who think that women are underpaid, women are underrepresented, despite the lows amounts of evidence that pretty much debunks feminism. It's basically a parasite that is still trying to fucking live. We need to kill it with fire. Lots and lots of fire. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.